Hey everyone, my name is Eric. Welcome to EVH Gear TV. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top three eruption covers on planet Earth. When Eruption was first heard in a release of Van Halen's self-titled debut in 1978, it turned the guitar world upside down on its head and shook it silly. Had it not been for the keen-eared producer Ted Templeman hearing Eddie noodle on the solo while warming up in the studio, we may have never heard this masterpiece other than live. Arguably said, there has not been another guitar soul to this day that's had the impact like that of Eruption. Not to mention the decades that would follow of guitars chasing the tone and notes of Edward Van Halen's 1 minute and 42 second thrill ride. I myself have been chasing the elusive brown sound and have been trying to learn the Holy Grail guitar solo my entire life. I'm happy with it because it further solidifies my opinion that Eruption is the greatest guitar solo of all time. Before we get right into the meat and potatoes of this video, Don't worry, this is not a food video. Let's have a listen to what some of my friends from around the world have to say about Eddie and Eruption itself. When I first heard Eruption, it was on the way back from the hospital after I'd just been born. My dad insisted that the first track that I hear in the car on the way home was Van Halen's Eruption. Like my dad, I'd also become a huge Van Halen fan and um, you know, when you listen to that piece now, it's just so timeless. It's just one of those uh, pieces of music that you just can't listen to the first 10 seconds. You always have to listen the whole thing through. You know, it starts off with such a you know powerful intro and then it's kind of into the blazing dynamics of his playing and then later on you've got the tapping and you're hearing the reverb trails kind of singing you know almost like a harmony of what he's playing unbelievable piece and um it's absolutely timeless and you know it's like i say it's something that when you listen to it you just can't not listen to the whole thing through absolutely incredible timeless piece of music a real cool moment as a kid growing up, um, me and my dad went for an Indian meal and we'd ordered our food and I'm sitting at the table with my Sony Walkman on, listening to Van Halen of course, and um, the waiter kindly came over and offered to play my cassette um, through the house uh, music system. Um, I don't know if he was expecting it, but bang, he presses play, boom, off goes eruption. And I wasn't much bigger than this <laughs> at the time, but sitting at that table, with Van Halen playing, eating an Indian meal, it, it didn't really get any better than that. To me, Eddie is without doubt an absolute pioneer of the electric guitar. Um, Eddie is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, there's just so much tone that comes from his fingers and his and his personality. You know, some guitar players you can kind of imitate, and, and people could do covers on and, and and recreate it pretty well. I don't think anybody can sound like Eddie, and, and nobody will sound like Eddie ever again. Um, the guy is just an absolute beast and um, we love him for it. Hey there everybody, so the first time I ever heard Eddie Van Halen, I know I was around 15 years old because when I started playing guitar, and I remember my dad played me 1984 for the first time, and I heard the Hopper teacher knows how I, I go to do the tapping intro even though I don't have a guitar, and it made me want to play guitar, that's what kind of kicked it all off for me. And I think my dad was just really excited that I, I took to liking one of his favorite bands of all time so much, and instantly was telling me like, oh you need to hear uh, full bug you needed to hear intruder and he, you know so we go to the store to actually buy diver down and uh they didn't have it but they had van halen one and then instantly he was like oh dude you got to get this we got to hear ice cream man you know eruption and i was like oh uh, yeah i want to hear more of this guy and um and when we put it in and he went right to ice cream man you know and he's like all right now we're gonna hear eruption i was like what's eruption he's like just listen and he flips it to it and you just hear Bow! and he just eddie just tears into this solo and uh, I remember, and then uh, the, the part that stuck out to me, the two parts the most, is that little like speed picking part of the tremolo picking. I was like, that is so, I didn't even know what was happening. I'm like, is that, that's still guitar? And uh, my dad, I don't think he knew what it was. He knew it was a guitar, but he didn't know how he was doing it. You know, it get to the, of course, the tapping part. And I didn't realize that was still the same thing that he was doing in Hot for Teacher. I was just like, is that like a keyboard or something? And I was like, no, that's Eddie. And I just remember how amazing hearing that was for the first like I said because you know that wasn't the first piece of music I got to hear so I didn't quite get that experience I, I knew I knew the band but then when I heard Eruption I was just like what and what's so cool about Eruption I think today is as you progress as a player obviously you acquire new skills you have a better ear you understanding things better so you start listening to Eruption again and you're like more and more parts it's almost like it's new to you because you're understanding more of it so it's such an interesting piece of music because all these years later it's still just as fresh. People are still chasing that 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 thing. Like, can you play Eruption? 
I can't tell you how many times like that's people people who don't even play guitar. That's your go to like level. Like how good are you as a player? Can you play Eruption? And of course, most people's answer is like, no, I'm not. Eddie's up here. I'm down here. It's funny because as a teacher, you know, I've I've had students who um, no clue who Van Halen was, never even heard of Van Halen, but knew Eruption. I'm like, how do you know Eruption, but you don't know who Van Halen is? They're like, I don't think I know who Van Halen is, but I know Eruption. And I'm just like, it's just amazing. Like, it's, it's such like an iconic piece of music and just history. So to me, Eddie Van Halen, going without said, is the man. He just, he reinvented everything. He was truly a game changer. He didn't only change the way that electric guitar was played, as in like solos, but look at his rhythm chops. His rhythm is insane. You know, he was like the three pieces of the puzzle, like his, his lead playing, his rhythm playing, his songwriting, I guess there'd be like four pieces of the puzzle. And uh, then the last thing is his tone. To accompany his, you know, skills and ability and stuff, like, he needed a tone that was unlike anything else to fit in with his style that was unlike anyone else. He had to invent this tone that, to me, is just, like, a bomb that's about to go off and it's, like, seconds away from exploding and he just, like, puts the wick on and he's like, ah! That's, that's the tone I want. You know, it's so close to that amp just, like, self-destructing and um, it's the sweetest tone ever you know a huge like eddie didn't only impact me as a player but just the sound that i go after when i'm getting a guitar tone that brown sound is you know forever ingrained in my my dna of like a just a, a tone to base things off. i'm like oh yeah it's really got that brown sound but what can you say other than eddie is the king when did i first hear eruption i first heard eruption when i was going to school in beijing china i was listening to a lot of grunge and pop punk and things like that and I was really into guitar at the time. I was listening to Pantera and Metallica. Those were the heavier bands. And I read all about Van Halen. I had seen Van Halen in my father's uh, vinyl collection, but I never actually listened to it until one day I got very curious and I bought Van Halen, uh, uh, the first record, and put it on. And once I heard Eruption, I was like, oh, that's the brown sound I keep reading about in uh, Guitar World and, and all those kinds of magazines. And um, yeah, as far as what Eruption means to me, uh, it's defining for the electric guitar itself. I think it uh, speaks volumes about where the guitar was, but also where the guitar is going. And you still hear it referenced to this day. And then finally, what Eddie Van Halen means to me. I mean, there's a lot of musicians that mean a lot of things to me, and Eddie in specific, um, there's just this cool factor about what he does, everything from the instruments that he designs to the music that he plays to just being that cool guy. Um, so really, I think he's just an example of what a great guitar player can become and should be. Hey Eric, Adam Reaver, fu-tone.com here. What does Eruption mean to me? When did I first hear Eruption? This is the most iconic piece of guitar music ever in my opinion. And when I first heard it in middle school, I really didn't quite understand what it was. I just knew I liked it. Then as I started playing guitar and got in with those guys, I got it. And I got how intense and difficult and different and groundbreaking it was. And I hear lots of guys play it and I hear lots of guys play it really well, but nobody plays it like the guy. It's it's impossible. It's, it's all in the hands. And if you think I'm going to sit here and play it for you, you're nuts. So it's the greatest recorded piece of guitar music ever, in my opinion. I think it's spectacular, you know, that, that EVH changed the landscape of how guitars are played, how guitars are manufactured, how guitars are recorded, how guitars are guitars period. So it's pretty intense, it's pretty special, and it goes far beyond eruption. There are some people out there that take this solo so seriously that they will almost fight you. If your opinion or your approach to this majestic composition even strays even slightly from their self-proclaimed complete accuracy. It kind of reminds me of being front row at a Rush concert, turning to the guy next to you saying, hey, Rush sucks. Try that and see what happens. Well, you can't because Rush isn't touring anymore, but you get the idea. That's what brings us here today. I'm going to present to you, in my opinion, the top three eruption covers on planet Earth. Each of these three versions have unique qualities to them, ranging from their gear to their approach and their tone. The common theme amongst all three is their passion for the king himself, Eddie Van Halen. So let's start with number three, Jacob Draps. A fellow Canadian like myself, which gives him no bonus points, 
Jacob is the equivalent of freezing Eddie Van Halen in 1978 and thawing him out, still in his teens today, playing nothing more than a Strat-style guitar plugged directly into a Marshall with nothing in between. Jacob delivers the brown sound time and time again. Now let's have a look at number two, Dweezil Zappa. Dweezil is one of the most underrated guitars out there today. While holding a solid spot in the long line of the world's biggest Eddie Van Halen bands, Dweezil's style and approach to the guitar, mixed with a bit of hands-on tutoring from King EVH himself, deservingly lands him here at number two. With more than just the accuracy of notes, Dweezil has managed to capture a bit of the DNA, delivering the feel, touch, and sound of eruption, and doing so with a smile. And now for my number one pick, Pete Thorne. Pete earns this spot simply because he's Pete Thorne. He not only kicks ass in this version, he has everything. The tone, accuracy, and delivery. I'm very grateful of Pete's version as his video lesson is how I discovered him many years ago. This video goes so far back that Pete had to upload it in five segments as YouTube could not take videos longer than 15 minutes at that time. I've had Pete on my show a couple times. He's a class act and world respected. The original guitar nerd and one of the most sought after guitarists on the planet. It's no surprise that he comes in at number one in the top three eruption covers on planet Earth. Congratulations, Pete. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did producing it. If you did enjoy it, consider giving it a thumbs up and share. And if you haven't yet subscribed, there's no time like the present. You'll get instant notifications when I upload more content like this, and also when I do live broadcasts, allowing you to participate in the live chat. So who is your favorite of the three guitarists today? Post your comments down below. If you've got some other guitar players you'd like us to check out, or you're a guitar player yourself and you'd like to show off your killer eruption chops, post your link down below for all us EVH Gear TV fans to enjoy. I'm Eric Broadbent. Until next time, remember, if you're going to watch TV, make sure it's EVHgear.tv. Cheers. <laughs>